Hi everyone. In this video I want to give you a little overview of the notation for the uh, partial derivatives and the uh, the well the higher order and the uh, mixed partial derivatives. All right, so oh, there we go, derivatives. All right, so let me go over the the basics here. So if you have the ordinary, let me try to spell that right for you, the ordinary derivatives, all right, so, um, if you have the ordinary derivatives, and uh, normally you would say, well, all right, f prime of x, or just the <clears throat> the uh, y prime, or dy dx, th those are all really going to be the, the same, all right? And if you have the second derivative, f double prime of x, or y double prime, that's d squared y d x squared all right so or or sometimes people just say like d squared d x squared i i don't know why like uh, 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 some people would drop the y there but of, of course you're going to see a lot of strange things that i'm i'm going to mention here in a a moment but uh now if you have the third derivative, then it's y triple prime or d cubed y d x cubed, or again, some people just drop the the y. All right. So if you are looking at the the partial derivatives, if you're just dealing with the partial derivative with respect to x over and over and over again, then, then you would have something like all right, the first partial derivative f sub x. All right, and and the funny thing is, is that because these are going to be, let's say, uh, uh, of uh, functions, uh, functions of like f of x y equals z or something like that right all right so <clears throat> then the partial derivative notation is this del all right so not the the d but a a del and so del um uh, well the the function name is oops, well the letter is z so del z uh, del x, all right, that one's fine. And then if you find it again, x, x, all right, del squared z, del x squared. Now, now remember, this was, we found the, the derivative with respect to, uh, I'm going to actually, with respect to x and then with, I actually don't want to write it like that. That's just, um, okay. So we found it with respect to X and then with respect to X again like that. All right. So then if we have X, X, X. All right. Now, the, the, the reason why I, I want to point this out is because then you would find the, der, uh, the partial derivative with respect to X of the of the second partial derivative like this, all right? So, now, here's where the, the confusion comes in. It's with these so-called mixed partial derivatives. So let me scroll this down here for a, a moment. So, um, if you think about this, like there's, with two variables, say f of xy equals z, there's a, a couple of, Oh, several combinations. You can have f x x, f 
y y f and and then uh, the x y and f y x all right so here's how this works and and the main thing is for you to be consistent but i am going to tell you the way that that uh, most people generally do this and the way that it will be done in the in the homework all right so this one is what i just told you del del x of it of whatever that that first one that that you uh that first partial derivative that you took and then this one will be all right this one is saying that you are are going to do x and then y so that means that that you have to do x all right x and then y so that means that over here because you're doing the, the x first it needs to be right del del uh, y x like this and and that's what the confusion is is that the the order over the order over here and let me make sure that you're all clear on this the the well, I don't know why the uh I can I, I want to get a different color so that I can actually show you but the the order the order over here is different than the the order over here all right so this side is saying well okay x y so that means that you have to do the x first so you do the x first and then you do the the y after that all right so don't get that part confused and then let me go back to this now all right so now over here f y y that's del del a y of del del y and then f y x is del right, uh, del x of del del y so that means to do the the partial derivative with respect to y first and then the partial derivative with respect to x after that so th there are actually right you can count them when you have two variables here there are actually uh, two to the the second equal four right uh, mm, mm, uh, partial derivative possibilities. All right, now you might want to say that that as you're going through these combinations here that. Well, f x y, all right, f x y and and f y x are equal. Well, no, that's not always the case. All right, so these are are not always equal. All right, and there are certain conditions under which they are equal. So that that's why I am trying to caution you now that when you come to this notation. One thing is that the order does matter, and the second thing is that they're not both always going to be equal. So just make sure that when you are like going through the notation and and finding these uh, higher order partial derivatives and mixed partial derivatives that you <coughs> excuse me uh, do this correctly. All right, so let's go on to another one. So let's say you have f of x, y, z equals w. Of course, then you can have f, x, 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 f, y, 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 f, z, 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 f. All right, and then, then think about what you, you could have. You could have x, right, x, y, y, and then you can have x, z, z, and then you can have, all right, f of, well, <laughs> y, x, x, and then f of 
y, z, z, and then f of z, right, x, x, f, and then z, y, y, and then let, let's list all of them just for, for the uh, sake of making sure that we have all of them listed here. So we can have f, and then what else do we have, x, x, y, and then f, x, x, z, and then f, and then y, y, x, f, y, y, z, f, and then, oh boy, uh, well, we have z, z, x, and f, oh boy, uh, yeah, z, z, y, and then, uh, well, all right, so we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 so far. So I, I, I feel like, here, let me go ahead and uh, bring this up for a second. All right, so again, I, I feel like you can see that this can get easily out of hand. So so let's go and finish this out here. So you can have X, all right, uh, X, Y, X. Then you can have, let's see, what could you have? You could have X, Z, X, all right? Then you can have F, uh, Y, uh, Y, X, Y, and then F, uh, you can have X, uh, uh, a Z, well, all right, uh, Z, X, Z, and F, Z, Y, Z, and then I didn't get F, Y, Z, Y yet. All right, so let's just go back and make sure that we uh, have them all here. All right, so now we have an F, X, Y, Z. All right, then we have F, X, Z, Y. And then what do we have? We have F of Z, X, Y, and then F, Z, Y, X, and then F. Oh boy, Y, X, Z, and F, Y, Z, X. All right, so I think that we have them all now. So uh, there should be actually, let's just count them again. There should be 27. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So how did I know that there would be 27? Because there are three variables, like three variables. So three uh, independent variables and then we have the third derivative like our third you know uh, uh, partial derivative and so then three to third power is actually uh, 27 all right so it's actually the the number of independent all right, number of independent variables, and then that's to the uh, n power, the 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 order of the order of the uh, der derivative or the uh, partial derivative here. <clears throat> All right, so now let's just go through like so, some of this because there's so many of them. So let's just sort of look at this one here again. I've, Z, Y, X would mean to find the the partial derivatives in that order, starting with with the Z, and then of that one, you find the derivative of that with respect to, to Y, the partial derivative with respect to Y, and then of that, you find the partial derivative with respect to the X. So the order should be del Z, del X, Y, Z. All right, even though over here on the other side, again, you see that it's Z, Y, X, and here it's X, Y, Z. All right, so try to remember that. Now, uh, some of these will, uh, some of these partial derivatives uh, will end up being equivalent. But again, 
they're not always going to be equal. All right, so how would you know which ones are going to be equal and which ones are not? Well, again, there there's lots of conditions, but a a rule of thumb is that you know, like if if, if you have do uh, z do x y z or f uh, z y x, then these are are going to be uh, uh, y x z and y z x are are generally going to be equal, but they're not always equal. But when would they be equal? Well, they're they're generally going to be equal if if they're all all three of them are are continuous. All right, so and uh, but. Uh, so if they are going to be equal, then they all have to be continuous. This derivative, uh, this one, and this one. All, right? all three uh, partial derivatives would definitely need to be continuous. Now, how about the other ones? Well, uh, well, if you look at say f x x y and f uh, y x x, all right, those two are 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 going to be equal here, but uh, you could even say uh, f, uh, x, y, x. All right, now, these are not always equal, but if you, again, look, the, the key here that most of the time these would be equal is that they both have uh, two x's and in one y. All right. So uh, then you could say something like, well, all right, most of the time f uh, x y y and f, well, uh, let's see, x, well, okay, <laughs> I want to say y, yeah, y y x and f uh, y x y most of the time these three will be equal but they're not always equal again it all depends on if these are all continuous again but the the key feature of course is that they uh, all have two y's and and one x all right so the order that you find these partial derivatives in matters in the the notation matters and then also like whether they end up uh, being continuous matters because it, it will tell you whether there's other ones uh, other ones that are equal to it so uh, that is the main lesson that I wanted to show you here this uh, week is uh, just to watch out for the notation and the order in which you are finding these higher order partial derivatives and just make sure that you're consistent in the notation because sometimes they're not going to be equal in, in particular watch out that these are uh, continuous or not continuous and not every textbook or website will do it this way so you have to know the notation that you are working with in in order to uh, move forward without falling into the trap that two of these are going to be equal when they're really not because there's some continuity issue or some notational issue and that you weren't talking about the same thing that uh, the other person was talking about all right so that's all i have and i hope that you found this informative